many plays <laughs> with friends. Lol, you should feel really upset. You should feel like, damn, I just made Chris look really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> if you had empathy, that's what you would feel. But you don't because you're a sociopath. Yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, if you're telling the truth, I guess you would say that technically. Oh. Shit, dude, where do I go now? Uh, to the right? Did you go over here yet? <laughs> That was a scare. That sounded like he actually died. It's good to be a ball. Ow. Dude, the, the, the female character in that fucking movie when I was a kid. You've said it before. You'll it's say true. it again. It's true. Every time I think of that movie, I think about it. I only. Because my brain was so young when I formed those little synapses. Oh my god. She's got big, thick legs, big, thick asshole, big. And she like makes out with him at one point. That's what got she me. Fucks she, she fucks him. She sucks him. She yeah. fucks him. She fucks him. Sucks him. She <laughs> fucks him. She <laughs> fucks him. She fucks him. She fucks him. She fucks him. Well, yes. how up to date yes, are you on this whole I Nick Avocado do. bullshit? Nick Avocado? Yeah. No, I not at all. Yeah, you just explain, explain for me yeah, in the what, class. Yeah. What is? I don't yeah. know this. I don't even know anything about this. What is this? Uh, Nick Avocado is a YouTuber. Who used to be this like skinny dude? He was a skinny, good-looking vegetarian dude. Oh, okay, yes. Now I know what you're talking about. And then he started for some reason. He just lost his mind, and he started just like doing mukbang, which is like you just eat a ton of food. Ugh. And uh, he got really fat. He's dating a guy who completely indulges like this shit. And now is it like a, is it like a feeder type thing? I guess, but like he's he's always having these meltdowns in his videos where he starts screaming and his face turns really red. <laughs> yeah. Popeye's chicken sandwich. Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> no! He started an OnlyFans <laughs> account where he's like spreading his hairy like destroyed <laughs> doll. Really? Yeah, and it's like the. It's the mo he the re the only reason I brought it up is because you said bussy I think a second ago that's what he calls his boy pussy. <laughs> it's his broken. I think you can hit him by the way. Oh he, oh, he calls he calls it a bussy. He really calls yeah. it boy pussy. Makes me sick. <laughs> Did you ever let someone uh, put an avocado on your boy pussy? No, <laughs> I don't think I need to. There's it's not about needs. It's there's about, already it's one It's about there. what's good for the the society of people. It's for the greater good, Chris. The greater good, yeah. The greater good. You're not willing to avocado your bussy for the cause? Fuck. Who follows this guy? Is he legitimately making a name for himself in this like weird feeder fetish community? He's, or is he's he... like, you know how everyone's like, they used to be obsessed with Britney Spears' like downfall. It's like that kind of a thing. I, so yeah, so it's just basically just watching this guy's life deteriorate basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. You want me to take a crack at it? Sure. He's fucking laughing at you. He face palms because you're so stupid. You are so stupid and funny. Hey, <laughs> going on, by, man. Hey, uh, Chris, let's write a new episode of The Simpsons <laughs> where Lyle defeats this guy, right? <laughs> a okay. new episode of The Simpsons? Yep. Why Kate. did you do like a Mexican Bart? Because uh, that's, that's the episode. That's the episode. Oh yeah. yeah you... The episode is the Bumblebee Man become Bart dies and <laughs> the fan... Bumblebee Man becomes <laughs> the Bart. New Bart because they're mourning. They're in such grief. <laughs> he shows up at Bart's funeral. You know, one time we had a you nice know, one... chat. Yeah. Ah. You know, one time I talked to Bart and uh, I think I got the gist of him. I think I can be him. <laughs> he only says one thing in Spanish, so I think I can handle. He it. says one thing in Spanish, so I'm basically the Bart. Okay. Merge. Bart is back to life. This is Bart. just as good, if not better. Bart has been resurrected as a meek. Bart is talking a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> talking a lot of sense. And then, and then, and He's that... convinced me on many a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is my child. I you know are it. my boy. <laughs> and then, and then, and then we cut to, and then we cut to the road of the Simpsons car, the iconic Simpsons car driving. Wait, 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 what are the seven stages of grief? There's like one of them is delusion. <laughs> one of them is, uh, <laughs> delusion. delusion, fear, hatred, bigotry. Fucking, he, he fucking, like, targets the Simpsons while they're all deluded. Yeah, and yeah. And he preys on them. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, there's still a denial base. I think the first step is denial. <laughs> That's it, not delusion. Yeah, they're, they're all in denial, and, uh, and, You're deluded! And then we cut. We cut then to the Simpsons car driving, and, uh, of course, Homer and Marge are the front. In the back seat, we see Bumblebee Man ripping out Lisa's hair, and, and Homer goes, "Stop!" And Homer goes, "Stop!" Bart, yeah, get in her. Bart, leave your sister alone. Like Columbus. And he's being way too rough with her. He's actually kind of hurting her. She's got bruises and welts all over her arms and shit. 
<laughs> He's pinching her really hard on you. <laughs> He's got like a smile on his face, so he kind of enjoys it. It's, it's, like, the, you. it's like the good son <laughs> where <laughs> Marge yells at Lisa for it. Lisa, stop antagonizing yeah, your Lisa, brother. Lisa, leave your brother alone. Your Help brother Mom, just came please. back. Lisa, we thought he was dead. We thought he was dead. This is. Now you be nice to him. You be nice to your new Bart brother. I got him. And he hey, squeezes her on the head. He's laughing. I am never going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the Bumblebee man so funny now? It's because he's sedisting. He's evil. Oh, wait. You were supposed to hit with the purple. Oh. <laughs> That's what you do. Uh, then Mr. Burns notices Bart's new talents. <laughs> Oops, it's called Bart's new talent. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, bring your boy into the nuclear power plant. Your boy is something special. He's Thank very you. cool and funny. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Burns. Ah, uh, Mr. Burns, uh, he is very cute and funny. No, Mr. Burns, he's mine. He's mine. <laughs> you can't have him smooth. <laughs> he becomes this beloved character. Everyone, everyone's fighting over him. <laughs> Have I ever told you, you know, that kind of did happen to me in real life, where... <laughs> there was, what? In what regard? No, what, what aspect of that story? Uh, the fact where some guy, he, he like came into Wexford, this like Italian guy, <laughs> and like he, he like took over, like... Like he was just some random guy. That is so stupid. And everyone started like loving him, being like, like. He became a celebrity. Give me a cool Italian name. We'll call him that because I don't want to give him the real name. Yeah, go for Giuseppe. Okay, so Giuseppe moves into Wexford. He's an unknown guy, right? Well, this was in at least my parents' circle of friends. But this guy came in. Uh, everyone's like, who is this guy? And he's like, I'm buying this restaurant. He bought a restaurant. <laughs> and then everyone's like, wow, he bought the restaurant. He's amazing. And then he, he just started, like, going to everything, like, be being the host of everything, every party. He was just there, right? And everyone's like, wow, he's such an interesting character. Where did he come from? He marries some wom like woman. Uh, he jumped into, like... Do you remember when you visited Wexford? There was, like, this, like, shit river in the middle of town. Yes, I did remember that. He literally was like... If this football team wins, I'm going to jump in that river. And then oh. they, they won, he jumped in, he cut his leg open on a shopping trolley, he got a tetanus shot. <laughs> oh my, wait, he almost like had like a septic infection where he had like a wound with like shit inside of it? Yeah. And then, uh, one day, my uncle told me this story where, uh, he was hanging out with my dad, my uncle, and then he was just like, Hey, Nemo. take a drink of this coffee, right? And Nemo. He was like, no, no, I don't want to do that. He's like, go on, take a drink. And my uncle took the lid off the coffee, and he put his finger in it, and it, it like, scalded him, like... And he's just like, ah, I, you, you got me, like, he pretty much was like, I'll get you another time. Oh my, he tried to burn yeah, this guy. Yeah, he's like, like this crazy fucking guy. And then, eventually, one guy was like, uh, you know, this guy's kind of like, he owes me a lot of money. And then he started going around asking everyone else, being like, Hey, like, you guys know Giuseppe, like, <laughs> does he owe you money? And everyone was like, he owes me thousands of dollars. Who the fuck is this guy? I know, this, he was crazy. This and guy then, just came over and took over a whole town. Yeah, and then w w once, like, the, the word got out that he owed everyone thousands of dollars, he literally just fucking bailed and no one ever heard from again. And he married a girl, uh, like, he married a woman. And, and he, he just left he, her. And he left a wife? <laughs> yeah, it was fucking I love wild. That. I love He probably, he, dude, this guy's probably been all over the world doing that. Probably! Moves to every- moves, moves to the country, jumps into the He was, like, getting, like, interviews on the radio and shit. Everyone's like, so who are you? What you- <laughs> It was fucking- really? It was the weirdest shit ever, like... <laughs> that is like an episode of a TV show. It yeah. really is. A new guy moves into town and everyone loves him. <laughs> And then he gets a septic It was literally like Herman Tamzarian <laughs> shit. It was like crazy. But yeah, wherever he is, I hope he's dead. Wherever you are, please, <laughs> let everyone know you're safe. We need to know you're okay. Ugh. These ice crystals, I don't get it. He really fucked up people though, like, like... Like, he, he left like a devastated family and shit, it was really sad. He left a big black hole. Pretty much. A big a Giuseppe big, shaped hole a big Giuseppe hearts. shaped hole. Hopefully he got karma and come up and... S it sounds like he did just by the fact that he got called out to begin with. Yeah, the guy who called him out was like a hero. I, I love that he jumped into a big s river and got a big cut on his leg. Dude, the river said, oh, is disgusting. Seppy, you're so septic. Yeah, yeah there's this place oh, in Wexford me. called the Crescent where it's just literally a bowl of shit. And he probably drank a little bit from it too when he jumped in. Damn, no, he, he almost, almost did it. Yeah, he yeah, almost got I've, down. I've almost done it like twice. I think you can do it. You think? I think so. I actually don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get around this stupid thing. This might be the, the time. The time when oh. I fucking do it. Oh my god, you're amazing. You're simply incredible. Alright. Oh wait. dude, this is this might be it. Oh. 
Oh, oh, no! 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 Right, that was like one it, pixel of health left. I think I got it this time. <laughs> you son of a bitch. This time it's personal. The Adventures of Ice. Man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the Adventures of Ice? It's a different game. That's a very different game. Yep, it can. He, he crushed you. He special. He crushed you. He special. He fucking good. He special. I'm trying to think if there was any other Giuseppe stories that were funny. That Scalding story is fucking scary because he's like a demon. He tried to trick somebody to burn him. No, up. he was like an evil bastard. He sounds like it. But he's also charismatic enough to take over the whole town. I just That's what's scary about it, though. Is it kind of makes you think like, oh, all these people around me are just fucking susceptible if, to getting Giuseppe. If, 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 yeah, if Giuseppe had run for like public office, if you like ran for mayor of Wexford, do you think he would have won? I actually, I believe he tried. Really? I believe he tried, yeah. And he didn't win? Nah. Did he Who do won? okay? Did he do okay? I don't think so. It's me, Giuseppe. He kind of feels like a guy where he was like this big, fat, bald Italian man. <laughs> I mean, it kind of feels like maybe like the nice Irish wax where people were like, "Wow, how exotic!" But back yeah. in, in Italy, he was probably just some schlubby a piece like of shit. that nobody would he was fall like a for reject, this shit. Yeah, well, it's it's like a big fish or a small fish in a sorry, a big fish in a small pond. I mean, exactly. You oh, know, this you is know. it. This is it. This is it. Uh, yes! Yeah! Oh my god! Ha! Huh, eat it. Eat Glac it, Glacius. Glacius. Huh? What's that glowing sphere? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> The ancient Giuseppe powers! Wait, what? I will fool all of Wexford with this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when he gets insulted by balloons. <laughs> yeah. How dare you use such offensive language? How dare you use such offensive language? How dare you? How dare you? I should be in Balloon World. <laughs> <laughs> use the drop kick. I think that's probably what will get I'll you through here. Whoa! Whoa! You got the icy blaze! I do not. Oh, that's probably what I just got. Yeah, you just got that. That's like way better. Yep. It takes way more though. It looks like. Wait, do I get all my shit back if I just switch to fire and then? No. How it, do I... it restores. I just got it all back there. Don't Maybe forget the a... cookies. Don't forget the cookies. Oh, I won't. You know I won't. Don't forget the cookies. You think there's more out here? You fucking piece of shit. I would use your slide kick on those cats because it makes you invincible. Okay, that worked. Well done. Yeah, that that ice thing is seems to be pretty broken. I feel like this game has an extremely fun move set. It plays like pretty well, all things considered. It's so snappy and joyful. It's definitely better than a lot of the other. I don't know how many people actually worked on this game, but. It's definitely a lot better than most of the shit that we play that seems to be, like, of this tier. Yeah. I mean, we're not bored of it in, you know, 15 minutes for one. You're so right. What are you talking about? How much, how much you love, how much we love The Adventures of Chris, collectively? You know it. Unironically, kind of, yes. This game has made more of an impact on me than any other we've played so far this year. It, 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 I remember it. If you asked me to tell you all the levels, I can remember all of them to a T perfectly. Like, Law, you were playing some bullshit. What was it called? I don't even remember. Some but the match is a Chris, on the other hand. I could recite from start to finish. Now that's a game I can take my head off to. <laughs> take your head <laughs> off? <laughs> I love I love a YouTube reviewer that's basically like, is like a... Like a gentleman, he says, but he says like nice things. I could take my head off to that. Oh, I, I give this <laughs> two pinkies out out of. <laughs> two, I give oh, this it... is a stealth section. Oh, is you gotta it? crouch behind the things, the pots. Whoa! See, that's yeah, the worst that's we, we got, got is uh, Jemima's witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> we we watched an episode of Family Guy last night. Me and Zach and Tomar, where it was Stewie and Brian locked in a. It's the famous episode, yeah, they was like their big th They're locked in a vault, and, and Brian eats Stewie's asshole and shit, and I, I can't even believe it's real. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it was like, I did that because I love you, or something you know, like that. It, it's yeah, yeah, like, they, they try to be really serious. I truly it. believe whoever wrote that was fetishizing it. Like, what, like why would you write that? They, I don't was, think it was- I think that was like all improv well, it's not fucking good. <laughs> I mean, it had to, it had to have been Whoever scripted. Wrote that it happened. had to have been scripted, but it might have been written like straight ahead, basically, when they didn't structure it. But that's it, fine. But it, it no, was a dog eating a baby's asshole. It's not a good episode of Family Guy. There's like parts. There's a there's like a few parts that 
are not done as badly as others, but there are some parts of that that are so fucking embarrassing. They, it's because they're trying to be really serious and like deep. They're actually trying to be like the fly episode of Breaking Bad. Yes, uh, they all, but they did another episode like that, like recently, where it's Whoa. like Stewie goes to a therapist, and the therapist is, um, I think it's, I think it's Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart. <laughs> I think so. But it's it's the same it's the same thing. It's like no cutaways. It's just Stewie talking to a therapist for like. Uh, 45 minutes, and he literally goes, This is my real voice! No. Yeah. Wait, no. like yeah. Peter's voice? Basically, basic, he's like, Hi, this is what I really sound like. This, the British thing, is it real? Shut up! I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. <laughs> For once, to talk with my real voice. Why? <laughs> We should, That's we should, Urban Tim Zarian no, shit! We, we, Why? We, we, should, we, should, we should watch it after this. I actually want to- I'm down to watch it. <sighs> You've lied to us for the last that time. That is real! Because it, it's basically a spiritual successor to the... Uh, trapped in the locker. I mean, trapped in the, uh... Trapped in the vault episode. Trapped in the closet. Ooh, you can light it up with your ice. That's pretty cool. I hate that. The one thing Family Guy has that I I always want to see more is like how bad it's it, like it always gets worse every time I Family see Guy, it. Family Guy, even if it's worse, I can still watch it. Even if I watch it, even if I hate watch it. Yeah. Like there's some shows that get so bad, I like they're just boring that I don't want to even Ooh. watch it. The Simpsons actually has gotten like that bad, I think. Somebody was telling me that the recent episodes are like better animated and that they oh, look they? better and stuff. That's what I heard. That it's boarded better <clears> and that it's animated better, but I don't. Simpsons keeps doing this thing, so, you know, after, like, season 10, it goes downhill for, like, 20 seasons or something? Yeah. Then it got okay again, then it got unfathomably terrible again, and now it's getting slightly better again. Yeah, it's got these, it's got these Ooh. hills and valleys. I got the what? The Master Brune. I think that's a... Is that a Final Fantasy VII reference? Maybe. They put uh, Aladdin references and... Oh, you have, like, a weapon now. That's cool. <laughs> Do you get to keep that, or is this just for the segment? I don't I know. I think you gotta keep it. Yeah, it's an upgrade. That's awesome. Sephiroth's sword is called the Massive Moon, but I'm not sure if that's like a generic <laughs> Japanese sword name or not. I wish the Wind Waker had more games that look just, just like it. I was just thinking about the Wind Waker. Because of the, the sword training? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, at the very beginning you have the sword training. You know, great minds think alike, you know that, Dude, right? our brains are connected by a tube. <laughs> when girls go into, like, sync with their periods, me and, me and Zach's brains go, go into sync with our creativity. Yeah, cool pop culture references, like <laughs> Family Guy and Wind Waker. Hold, <laughs> uh. oh, punch yeah. dude. Oh, that's how he- oh. You know, that would've been useful at the start of the level. It really would've. <laughs> I think they wanted us to, like, suffer through it first, though, so that you realize the might. This music. I think- I think that guy you're just supposed to smash. I wonder, did he draw the art for this game? Yeah, I'm curious how big this team was. I'm actually, for once, a excited to see the credits on this. Yeah, me too. You know what I want to see? What's that? I want to see people go up to their parents. And be like, Mom, Dad, watch this episode with me. And they put on the Stewie and Brian ass eating episode and just record the parents. Like, a, like I, a nice conservative parents watching that. I want to see true, genuine reactions. I really to am it. curious because the fact that we're all creative, I think it makes us a little more aware of it. I, I think a regular person wouldn't like that episode, but I don't know. Like, I really, I, I, I don't know what a. What no, the dude, like, I don't think anyone's going to enjoy that shit. I think you're right. I think it would be weirder, if anything, to a regular person because they'd be like, "Why aren't? Why are they like? Why is Brian talking about killing himself?" You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was so freaking deep. That should have won an Emmy. Oh, Brian, what you have a gun? What do you because get, Brian? I might kill myself. I don't know. It's like shh, we have the fucking head, little baby. Story. Because life is mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's deep. <laughs> I think he literally does say something like that, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Brian! <laughs> you know, Brian, I love you. Yeah, I love you doesn't too, he like stare at the floor and he's like, "Hey, I I care about you quite a lot." There's some yeah. bullshit like you, that. You can even say, "I, I, I love you, Brian." <laughs> you can even say, "I eat shit," and I, and I, and I eat shit, and you eat my shit, and I eat shit, 